If you've been watching my channel since the early days or talking the overexposed filming on the living room floor or kitchen table early days, then you probably know that I have an obsession with notebooks. Though my collection is much less robust now, I'd say that I've experienced quite a good variety of notebooks and my taste has evolved since I first started collecting. Dare I say it's improved. To give you a bit of context, I was the type of person that would scour the aisles of Barnes & Noble, Target, TJ Maxx, gather up all the notebooks I could find and bring it back to the shopping cart that I shared with my sister so we could divvy up who was going to take what. Collecting pretty notebooks is one thing, but actually using and enjoying them is another. As I mentioned, my taste in paper and notebooks has evolved and I think from the start when I was first getting into the wonderful world of stationery a lot of my efforts were focused on great quality pens and you can have a superb writing instrument but what I had to come to understand is if it was matched with not so great paper my writing experience would remain subpar. Fast forward to today, as most of you know, my preferred writing instrument is the fantastical fountain pen, and this has come to define most of my current notebook collection. While there are still notebooks in my queue to try, I thought I'd sit down today and share some of the notebooks that are just rocking my world, and I'll have these linked off in the description box below so you can take a closer look. To kick things off, I want to give special thanks to the very kind folks over at Luxury Brands of America for partnering with me on today's video. They very kindly sent me two of their Nebula notebooks. This one is the Nebula Premium Note, and I've been using this sort of as a self-actualization journal. I've just been doing a lot of personal development prompts in here and of course have been enjoying using my fountain pens. This notebook is a hardcover pristine looking notebook that honestly had me hesitating and feeling like it was too pretty to use, but I eventually dove in and I'm so happy that I did. This A5 size notebook comes in eight different colors, including Snow White, which is the one that I have here. And it's also available in either plain or ruled pages. I opted for the plain premium notebook, which came with four different guide sheets, which I love because it gives the illusion that I can write neatly and straight on a blank piece of paper. I mean, come on, not all of us can be Amanda Rachley. Have you guys seen that where she draws a straight line with no ruler? It's incredible. I haven't quite honed in on that skill yet, so I'm really glad that this came with those guide sheets. It also includes magnetic bookmarks so you can easily flip to and from whichever page you're referencing. And this notebook also features an elastic closure and a back pocket. There are 192 pages of 90 GSM white colored fountain pen friendly paper that is proprietary to Nebula. I mean, we're talking match made in heaven, like chef's kiss. Perhaps you're a bit like me and you feel a tad intimidated when a notebook is too fancy or too pretty to use. Call me crazy, but there's something about an affordable notebook that lends itself to being more approachable. But affordability doesn't mean you have to compromise on quality, as is true with the Nebula Casual Notebook. This soft cover spiral notebook is available in six different colors and three formats, including ruled, dotted, and plain. I chose the baby pink with dotted pages, and again, if we're talking about fountain pens and great quality paper, try to name a better duo. I'm kind of a sucker for dotted notebooks and have really been enjoying the spiral binding. I like that you can fold the notebook back on itself or just lay it flat as is. This notebook has 120 pages of Nebula's proprietary white colored 90 GSM paper and has definitely taken a top ranking in my current notebook collection. As you can probably discern from the previous two notebooks, I prefer A5 size journals. This is one that I've used cover to cover Cover and can say is another great notebook if you don't want to break the bank. It's filled with 192 pages of 100 GSM premium ivory colored paper with 30% recycled content and can play nice with most inks. If you want to get a better idea of the pens and inks I've used, I'll leave a link to my bullet journal playlist so you can kind of see all of it in action. My friend Chris has also talked about this notebook, so if you need a second opinion, definitely check her videos out. If you're looking for a thick one, this is it. I started using this notebook thanks to my dear friend Danny. Danny, thank you so much if you're watching this. It's a soft bound graph 
journal filled with 600 pages of 70 GSM white colored paper. This is what I'm currently using as my bullet journal. So if you want to see it in action, I'll have a link here in the cards and in the description box below. Just like the Flight Diary of Love notebook, I feel like this notebook plays nice with most inks. These notebooks, especially if you use fountain pens, are definitely worth your time. Have you tried any of these notebooks? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications that way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m. PST, so please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.